Imagine earning millions from a job you're not even qualified for and no one notices you for years. Well, in a shocking case, two employees of the Northwest Department of Education, Mowesi Margaret Mokone and Mankwane Suzan, were arrested for submitting fake matrix certificates to secure their positions. Together, they ranked or raked in over 4 million rands in salaries, defrauding the education system they were supposed to serve. How could this happen and what does this mean for South Africa's education sector? Stay tuned to uncover the full story, the deep flaws in the system and what the authorities are doing to prevent future fraud. Don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on the latest developments. Well, the use of fake metric certificates in South Africa is a growing problem. The case of Mokone and Raleru isn't just an isolated incident. It is part of a larger issue that has plagued the education and of course the whole sector for years. The Department of Education has been battering fraudsters who create or sell fake metric certificates to unqualified individuals looking to secure jobs or improve their chances of employment. In this latest case, Raleru, aged 54, and Mokone, aged 46, appeared in the Rustenburg Magistrates Court to face charges of fraud, forgery, and altering after being arrested by the Serious Commercial Crime Investigation Unit in Rustenburg. Both women had submitted fraudulent metric certificates when applying for their jobs. Raleru, who worked as an early childhood development field worker, claimed to have passed her metric in 1992, but investigations revealed that she had failed her exams. Similarly, Mokone applied for a job as an administrative assistant at Kana Primary School in Rustenburg in 2011, falsely claiming that she had passed metric in 1998, but she never even sat for the exams. What is shocking about this case is not only that these two individuals submitted fake certificates, but that they managed to stay in their position for over a decade. Raleru began working in 2008 while Mokone was hired in 2011, and neither case was caught until recently. This raises serious questions. How was this fraud allowed to happen for so long? Were there gaps in the verification processes that allowed these individuals to slip through? It appears that the system failed to properly vet employees, allowing them to earn over 2.3 million and 2.2 million in salaries respectively. Well, the role of Umolasi, South Africa's Education Quality Assurance Body, comes into focus here. Employers are supposed to verify the qualifications of their employees through Omulasi, but with more cases of fake certificates being exposed, the verification process itself needs to be re-examined. In response to the rising number of fake metric certificates, authorities have been working hard to clamp down on fraudsters. At the beginning of this year, 11 suspects were arrested for selling fake metric certificates. The arrests were made across different provinces with some suspects caught in Burgersford in Limpopo and others apprehended in Pretoria. Umulasi has urged employers to be vigilant, emphasizing the importance of verifying certificates before hiring candidates. The CEO of Umulasi, Dr. Mafu Rakometsi, spoke out about the safeguards in place to protect the authenticity and credibility of metric certificates. However, with this ongoing fraud problem, the system still needs stronger measures to prevent future incidents. Guys, I don't know about you all, but I think this is actually a situation that needs to be addressed and addressed pretty fast. Leave your thoughts just down in the comment section.